accident. I just don't think it's an accident that on the same day they say, we're going to allow players to wear guardian caps right. in games. Then it's like Roger Goodell goes on with Pat McAfee and says, yeah, we're looking at an 18-game schedule. Like, because everybody's going to make that about player safety. Right. So then the Which league is, can turn around and say, no, 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 no. We're trying player safety. We're allowing them to wear guardian caps. Yeah. If they choose not to, like, but, hey, we're making the game safer. Yeah. It feels like the two were absolutely related to me. Yeah, 100%. I mean, they, Goodell knew what he was doing. That was by no surprise. That was no mistake. Um, Again, this isn't what people are asking for. You you throw in an extra an extra game, you talk about, okay, we're going to have nothing but grass fields. Then players are going to be like, oh, grass, okay. You're going to get rid of the turf at MetLife that's, you know, taking so many people's, you know, taking time off of people's careers for no reason just because it's bad well, turf. And I wonder, too, him bringing up the 18-game schedule, the, the league is smart. They know from a public relations stance, the, and they were they went through the entire ringer for the 17th game. So they've they've run this playbook now. They know, okay, this is what we got hammered on with the 17 game schedule, which was what? What about the player safety? Um, some of it's the fields, all these different things. So maybe the guardian cap is also part of that conversation. They're already laying the the groundwork for, which is. Yeah, we're trying to get an 18th game, but we're also trying to reduce what's going to happen with those hits on on your head. And and they'll what they'll do is they'll roll out the data from practices, and they'll say these have been used in practices. Here's what we've seen data wise: there are far fewer practice uh, concussions now than there ever have been before, particularly amongst like offensive linemen, mm -hmm. where the, the positions where you do continually yeah. still get helmets clanging together. Yeah. Um, I think. I wonder if this is sort of that first foray into building that consensus of player safety so that when we get to the point where we can make the deal on the 18th game, um, we've started to already roll out these things that we think. Mm -hmm. can, it's just the question, though, is will players embrace no, some of these no, things like no. the Guardian cap? Especially like a Guardian cap, no. Like Especially if it's given as an option to play. I can tell you right now, guys aren't going to wear it because, one, like I said, it's, it's a nuisance and it's not what people want. I, my what I would say, you know, to the 18 game proposal is it'd be interesting to, you know, because once they implement the 18th game, it's not like they're going to go back. But I wish there was a way to play that eight, that 18th game and then do a study. See the more because there are going to be more injuries because right. there are injuries in every football game. They are there more definitely headed? not do studies once they get <laughs> the 18th game. <laughs> you know what they're going to study? They're going to study, perfect, gonna study the bank world, statement. They're going to be like, in yeah. In a perfect world, though, in a perfect world, because then, like, I feel like players. Um, cries would be validated because I feel like if you play an 18th game and you look at the injury list over the entire league, there are going to be more ankles, knees, hips, soft tissue, I think, than concussion and head injuries. The, the hardest part of all of this is that both sides are right to me because realistically, everything you're saying about players is right. The risk that they give, that, that they take when they walk on the field is real. The risk that you took is real, mm -hmm. and I respect that. I also know Roger Goodell is right, that if he adds an 18th game, everybody's gonna watch it. And at the end of the day, fans are going to flock to whatever this content is. Yeah. And it's just, mm -hmm. that's the hardest part, is that Roger's right. The more they, if we turn around and do an 18 game schedule with 16 international games and we turn around and put the, the Super Bowl on President's Day weekend and everybody has Monday off, fans over the majority of fans will rejoice and they're going to get what they really want, which is more football and the day after the Super Bowl off. And players are going to sit here and say, what about us? And the problem is, how do you make fans really care at the end of the day about players more than they care about just getting more football? And if we're being real, I think most fans don't. They just care about getting well, they're not. more football. So they're Rogers here saying, I got to make more money, and players are saying, we got to look out for them for ourselves. And, and I think, unfortunately, it, like it's just an evil in society that it, it is this way, but it is this way. I feel like the league is doing a poor job of addressing what the players need and want, prioritizing what the owners want, prioritizing what the fans want, prioritizing what everybody wants aside from the players, and giving the players such a small nugget that they don't even want and be like, here, this is proof that we're doing something for you and we care for you. If I'm, if I'm a player and I'm like, this isn't what I want, hey, how are you helping me? You're prioritizing what Roger Goodell wants, you're prioritizing what the owners, like you just said, the owners are gonna agree on this. Players want money and breaks. Exactly, so give us two, Guardian no, They're gonna say, give us two buys, give us two bye weeks, Give us more money and give us time off in the offseason.